Hello, 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 everybody out there in the land of the internet and internet land. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, 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 everybody, to the No Skill Podcast. It has been a while since we've been here by the old campfire. It's been like a month and a half, which I do apologize. Whew, it's been a while, guys. How do you, how do how do you how do you cod past? How do you how do you content creator? What do? What do? But uh. we're here finally. We're going to give you guys a little bit of a life update and some things that have happened to us, and then we're going to roll on into whatever the hell else comes up in this conversation. But first, introductions, as usual. I am your lovely host. I am DJ. Uh, to my right, your left, is Mando. What up with it? And then to my left, your right, is... Did I already say that? I did. I might have fucked that one up. Is Mikey. Hey, I'm here ready to make shit even worse. Let's go. And then down on the end is Dravo. But uh, it's been a while. Been a while. And it has been a been long a time. I actually looked it up. The last podcast that we filmed was our Halloween episode back in October, mid October. I'd like to point out. So it has been a while. Life has been crazy for all of us, especially especially me. Been to a couple of concerts and had a couple of uh, like had a couple of festivals and conventions to go to. It's been it's been fucking crazy. So we got some catching up to do, and hopefully you stick around for the ride. All right. First off, I just want to know how was everybody's Halloween? Because I know we all had some sort of pl- plan or something for Halloween. We'll start with you, Brandon. What'd you do? Did you go trick or treating? I sat at home and watched horror movies. That's always a good time. What horror movies did you watch? I caught up. I did what I always wanted to do, and I just sat down and watched the Conjuring like universe and movies like in order. Been wanting to do that for a while. I just did it. Correct me if I'm wrong. You had company for that, though, right? Yes, I did. Okay, that's good. See, that's already a great Halloween right there. Yeah, those those are good uh, movies to watch also. Well done. Very intimate company. Oh, real quick, I'd like to give just a little disclaimer <laughs> just so that you guys know. Uh, currently, as of this recording, because bad timing and COD timing in my uh, for me, uh, I'm currently going through a hurricane. So um, <laughs> yep. there is a chance that I might just also and then lag out of the server and not come back. So if that's the case, these three lovely human beings will give will will send you guys on your way down the river sticks when it's time to go. I'll try to join back, but if not, they might get an angry Discord call from me on my cell phone. Great audio quality, I promise. Moving on. Mikey, how was your Halloween? What did you do? Did you do things? Did you ding-dong ditch? No, man, it was a chill Halloween. My mom was really excited because she bought the uh, Pokemon Halloween packs. I don't know if anyone's seen those. They're mini packs that you can give yes. out to kids or really excitable adults. I, so I she don't have an entire pack of them. <laughs> <laughs> so she bought a bunch of them and we were handing them out to anybody who came by uh it was a good time it was freezing so wish i could have been there uh in a warmer part of the night but dad needed a break did that and then the day after we did a halloween car show where all the cars line up open the hoods and open the trunks and put big bowls of candy for the kids so Thank that was actually Oh, dude, Trunk or Treat was so fun. I think it was 320 cars with thousands of people coming through. Damn. Absolute blast. Oh. Dude, I didn't think it was going to be that big. I'm up at like 5 in the morning, long sleeve, thermal, jacket, just getting ready for the day, and everybody and their mother showed up when we got there. That's fucking tight, though. And I am kind of curious. What is cold in California? Uh, that 60. day, no, 37. Really? That's the, yeah. that's like hoodie and shorts weather over here. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Same. <laughs> I wear, like I'm I wear wearing... fucking shorts. I, sometimes I'll roll down the window on the highway stone, but like, oh, that's nice breeze. My <laughs> guy, I'm built for triple digits. I hate <laughs> this weather. Oh, like I, I, got get it. My, I got my dicky shorts on. I got my waifu cups hoodie, not sponsored. Maybe. But, uh, Hopefully, future. Let What's us up? know. Hit us up. I bought your blanket and your shiny lily set. You bought and everything. I brought the, pro- wow. the Project Melody and the Cottontail t- uh, t-shirts. And I just got Asmongolds. And the dues. I he buys everything. Past, uh, this past oh, I kind of want the dues. I'm not going to judge you. The dues does go right. hard. Sponsored by Dubby. Anyway, moving forward. 
<laughs> yeah. So, um, the one thing I always wanted to, uh, so when it comes to trunk or treat, I mm-hmm. used, well, at least for, for me growing up, trunk or treat was just the police and the fire departments go around in their SUVs and then they just put little like pumpkin lights instead of their, instead of their cherries and berries. And then they just mm-hmm. hand out ki- uh, like candy to kids. So you guys make it like an, like an entire event. There's two ones we do. There's one put on by the police department and they have a big police and fire truck and then a couple of classic car guys, like maybe 10 or 20. And then they'll do a, a, like a mini fair where they have little rides and little things for the kids. That's like the small town one. And then there's the car club one where two of the local clubs get together, make a plan, get per- permits from the city and take over the entire town. Like the whole main drag and all the side streets, we just pack as many cars in there as possible. That's mm-hmm. all community driven. And uh, the, there are rules. It has to be a classic. So uh, 75 or older, it has to be presentable and safe to where nobody's going to get hurt when they're trying to reach around to get the candy. And uh, the guys who are around the, or sorry, I shouldn't say the guys, the people around here are some of the baddest builders ever. There are some legit out of this world, talented fabricators. So everybody, it's not a competition, but it always turns into one every fucking year. Oh, of course. It's <laughs> yeah. classic car people wanting to outdo other people's classic cars. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have some legit museum pieces out here, like 62 window volts. Or, sorry, uh, 23 window Volkswagen buses, uh, 62 two door limited edition Chevy pickups. One guy uh, went and rebuilt a one of 500 Volkswagen uh, compact short bed pickup uh, out of this world stuff that should be at like SEMA auto auctions or SEMA or like uh, meet commodable auctions and shit like that. But these farmers just build it in their backyards with their grandkids and turn it into a fucking family friendly contest with candy and Pokemon cards. Yeah. That's that's the only way they made it family friendly. Right? How they can advertise it as family friendly? Candy and Pokemon. Yeah, now yeah. For the kids. Yeah. Grant, it's I got for one the of those kids. Grant, I got one of those trick or treat uh, Pokemon packs. It was the last one at Walmart. Fuck your seven year old Nancy. I don't give a fuck about them. These cards are mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I say that out loud? Moving forward. Hey, big man. How was your Halloween? This Halloween was pleasantly uneventful. I've had the unfortunate new life of working on Halloween for about the past eight years at bars, and I'm finally not working at bars. So this Halloween, I just kept the lights off and enjoyed my night. Easy enough. Just you played video, play some video games. I think I specifically played some Dead Space that night to get myself in the mindset of things. Yeah, I saw that you two, in the heat of everything that I've gone on the past two months, were just killing it on uh, on Dead Space. Yeah, it's been and fun. Then you started yeah. playing the. the not, we didn't well, finish well, it. We will eventually. I look forward to uh, look forward to that stream, uh, audience. But then, what was that other game? The 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 not Dead Space Four, but it's made by the same fucking people. What's it called again? Pacifico. Oh, uh, the Callisto Protocol. That's yeah, right. they put that on a nice <laughs> discount. So I went ahead and uh, bought that. That game's wild, actually. I'd, I'd recommend it, but it is a mostly melee-based game where you have to dodge every attack the monsters throw at you. So Souls-like? It's like a little bit, but like still the third-person aspect of Dead Space It still runs the same exact mechanics of Dead Space also. Okay. It's, it's wild. It really That's- is. And I get why... A lot of people gave up on it because it gets pretty fucking hard because you have to either you have to turn the analog stick either left or right to dodge. And you can't do the same way. You have to go back and forth. But if five monsters come at you at the same time, it's pretty hard to do. And then you just get beat up. The Arkham series, I can I can dodge roll swiftly, especially with with Resident Evil 4 QTE mastery. The the dodge roll in that game is like the fat man roll from Dark Souls. Okay, yeah, no, there's the drawback. That's where you got me. I'll, I'll I'll give you a bonus though. Your main melee weapon is a stun baton. Let's go. I was like, if it's not something <laughs> cool, it has to be a plunger. Yeah, I know what it is with me yeah. and plungers. Rocket so, League, my cover's a plunger. 
So yeah, Halloween was just pretty basic, and I didn't, and I was very unbothered. My Halloween was actually quite eventful in both good ways and bad ways and weird ways. Uh, the bad way, I ended up having to go to the ER with one of my buddies. He ended up breaking his ankle. Well, yeah, yeah, he broke his ankle uh, trying to trying to dance, forgetting that uh, he's an old man. And mm. uh, pop goes the weasel. <laughs> one ambulance ride later, but before I get to there, so I ended up joining, uh, getting involved into a involuntarily, mind you. I didn't want to do this. I uh, I got put in a costume contest because I was Jim Dangle from Reno Nine One One. For those yeah. that, that don't know what that costume looks like, Brandon, if you want to or if you can, put up one of our past thumbnails of me in the in the shorts. That guy. And a dangle. For those that do know what I'm talking about, uh, yeah, you have nightmares again, don't you? Yeah, I see. <laughs> but I ended up getting put into this costume contest. There was like three different categories. There was scariest, uh, best couple, and then sexiest. You can imagine which ones they, they put me into. Scariest. Now they put me in sexiest, and for some reason, I won. Do you know who my competition was for sexiest? Uh, Jessica Rabbit and Wendy Peppercorn from The Sandlot, The Lifeguard. Was oh. that one at least close? Like, could you tell who it was? Because I feel like that's really niche. No, no, yeah. you could absolutely tell who it was because she was wearing the lifeguard uniform. She had her hair done perfectly. The the same makeup that Wendy would have on uh, at that time with the with the rouge red lipstick. And then Jessica Rabbit had her, you know, assets on display. Yeah, yes. she does. And I still won somehow. And the only thing that I can think of is half the bar knew me and they just cheered for me because I was there. That or they saw the cult python in your inside of your hip. <laughs> that was just the banana. I need a potassium. <laughs> you, you preloaded before you went on stage. I'm not getting foot cramps tonight. Bring the banana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, so oh. then I go outside. I have a beer. I won 200 bucks out of it, though. But, um, Nice. Wendy Peppercorn was not happy that I won, so she accosted me outside and decided to cuss me out for like 15 minutes. How it's an what undeserved win, and she demands a recount, and all that, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, Do you want some of the money? Trust me, I know I don't deserve this shit either. You want me to buy you a drink? <laughs> You're such a nice man. I would have not said that. I would have yeah. not said that at <laughs> all. You're better than most. Oh, trust me, the urge to just be like, suck it, bitch, kick rocks, was right there. But then at the same time, I'm like, gosh, you're pretty. Maybe she'll go home with me. I don't know. Probably not. She probably can't take me seriously wearing booty shorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I start talking to her like the rock. Well, yeah, your point, your opinion's good. But it doesn't matter what you think because I am the people's champion and I have run the show. If he stretches it out too far in that outfit, some scenes start poking out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Shut your candy ass! Dude, can you imagine the headline? Fight ensues after Officer Jim Dangle tells Wendy Peppercorn to shut her candy ass up. <laughs> lifeguard, lifeguard gets body slammed through table by police officer. <laughs> Wearing First, booty uh, I'm gonna YouTube that later to see if that's a real thing. <laughs> There's some <laughs> form of backyard wrestling match that has that. There, ha that there has there. to be. That has to exist. The backyard <sighs> wrestling was fucking nuts. But then, uh, speeding up, they had like this little dance party. And my buddy, like we're both in our 30s, but uh, life hit him really fucking hard. Where even though he's uh, he's younger than me, he's like uh, he's just straight 30. But uh, he has the body consistency of a fucking 50 year old like age one of those in the fucking pants and he started doing all those random dances like the cupid shuffle and all that fun shit and uh during this one dance called the turbo hustle where you have to do these quick little turns he ended up we thought it was just an ankle roll but we noticed he can't even stand up on it or put weight on it at all my buddy who's a uh who's an emt rolls up his pant leg and he goes Oh, that's broke. That's broke, broke. We need to get him in ambulance. Well, you're an EMT. Can't you just like carry him to the hospital? The fuck you mean by that? 
We don't have fucking superpowers. <laughs> you think he's gonna fit in my small ass Subaru with you next to him? No. On the roof. <laughs> I'll ride in the trunk. It's cool. I've done it before. You didn't hear that from me. Hush your mouth. But yeah, so we ended up having we spent a Halloween night uh inside a uh, ambulance while he got treated. Then I went home and I hopped in a di- uh, not Discord in an Xbox Live party and started playing Rainbow Six Siege with uh the fellas. So eventful night. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like it's it. wild. Ended with me as thermite. Okay. So now more life updates again. It's been a while since we've been here. By the way, I'd like to know how was your Halloween, and then also talk, drop down below how was your Thanksgivings? Okay, because Thanksgiving <laughs> just passed, and I would like to know: Did you eat turkey? Was it tofu? Was it good? Which family member got into an argument with who? So now we're gonna go down the line, but this time we're gonna go in th- this direction. How was your Thanksgiving, tall man? Oh, how can I say how basic it was? Not a game. Besides, like, <laughs> let me say, like, there, Thanksgiving is nothing special for my family. Like, it's over by three o'clock. There's a lot of food. Honestly, I think turkey sucks. It's too dry. So I it made this your family's turkey. Dude, turkey is one of those foods where it has to be made perfectly. One little fuck up and it's ruined. Yep. I just think yeah. turkey meat. I, you know what? There's a one. I remember one time your dad made some turkey burgers. My in that that shit was pretty fire, actually. If you've eaten meat at my house, it's turkey. We don't use beef for anything. Yep. Same. The tacos, really? the dogs. Yeah. The only exception is hot dogs and tamales. Everything else is turkey. Yep. That's I mean, the same thing uh, for my I family mean, too. Uh, I, mean, I I enjoyed the food, but then like Thanksgiving's done by three o'clock. And I go home and play video games the rest of the night. Oh, you know what? Man, I'm very uh. jealous. Because I was about to say, if you're anything, if you have any sort of family like a Mexican or a black family, like the like the rest of the cast has, something no. went down with somebody. Nah, nope. This family over here is white as fuck, boy. I am the color in that family. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I, I made them actually legally adopt him for quota reasons. <laughs> I just for lived at your house. You're now my brother. A lot of high school. It was just, oh, yeah. hey, Mikey's here this weekend, and that was. I just yeah. walked in, had yeah. my own room. It was, it yeah. was peaceful. Well, I got a buddy named Chris like that, where he can quite literally just walk into my house, and he's the only person that's allowed to walk into my house like that. This fool did it earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we guys did like, what's up? I'm here for some tamales. <laughs> but he did kind of announce, like, "Hey, do you want me to pick up some tamales?" Then he just goes, "Yeah, let me slide." Like, oh yeah. He just he said, "No, me. I'll pick you up for some tamales." Yeah, I called him. I was like, "Nah, I'm gonna pick you up, dog." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's my cousin from my family. He just walk in. No big deal. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, cousin. <laughs> oh god. Now, but speaking of just the whole walking in thing. For uh, some reason, Thanksgiving this year, it was odd. Not bad, not good. It was just weird. So my yeah. brother decided to do this thing called a, uh, called Adopt a Sailor because we live next to a base, or at least close enough to a base. So essentially, you can bring home upwards of five random sailors who are uh, who are stuck on base for the holidays, and they can spend Thanksgiving with you. <laughs> That's, nice That's wholesome, cool. Horrible right? idea. <laughs> nice and wholesome, right? It's pretty cool. Problem. She didn't tell me that she was doing adopt a sailor. <laughs> five random strangers just rolled up to your house. There's five there's three, dudes. There's, <laughs> there's three random dudes. Hold up. Let me break it down to you. There's the, there's some chick playing on my roommate's computer whom I don't know. Three random schmoes sitting on the couch watching, watching Rick and Morty on my Hulu account, mind you. Yeah. And then some dude walks out with a plate of food. And I'm like, let me go get my blade. I disappear into my room, and my roommate hears the thudding, meaning she knows I'm running to my room to grab something. And she, I just hear from the basement, wait, it's not what you think. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. I so mean, I it's yell. just a <laughs> typical house full of semen at that point. You're all yeah. Navy. Something she's not used to. She's Lieutenant Lonely, remember? <laughs> Ah, oh so, she had, so she had <laughs> forcefully went to a that program had to invite damage. five dudes over. Yep, <laughs> and it still didn't happen. They ended up leaving early. 
That's Does she rough. want your stuff? Uh, what? <laughs> Does she want your stuff? Of course not. <laughs> I really doubt it. Like, dude, it it still didn't work. Two, uh, yeah, two of them left because they because they did they were turning down her advances. The other three left because during dinner, uh, my roommate's mother started talking about her medical and bowel problems while they're eating. <laughs> you know, I'm like, it's not even people that are stuck underwater in submarines for three months at a time want to put their dick in that. <laughs> Ex con fresh out of a 15 year prison sentence would have been like, Yeah, no, I'll take a meth addict. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry, rough. We're, sorry, we're, tra- we're trashing. We're what, trashing. What everybody. good we'll table track. conversation. Hey, this turkey's great, but it's going to tear me up later when I have to shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mom. <laughs> line right as uh, one of the sailors starts eating turkey she was just like I just can't keep anything down it either comes up north or goes out south violently and I'm like <laughs> say less say less I'm like I'm gonna go in my room I'm gonna go watch Pinocchio and be happy fuck this <laughs> smart man what? Pinocchio and be happy yeah Pinocchio is not that happy of a story but okay oh yeah no the, the true story around Pinocchio is Fucked. But the Disney movie made it seem happy because I want to have a little cricket on my shoulder to teach me right and wrong. Now I had the D.A.R.E. program. Now moving down the bench, how was your Thanksgiving, good sir, Mr. Green, Mr. Thing? Mm, uh, this year was a little interesting. There was uh, a fight. No, no, we had two trucks. We had two stops this year. One of which we've never attempted before. First one, very simple. At home with the folks. Had grandma, had my brother. We're hanging out, we're doing the dinner, shooting some shit, catching up. You know, just enjoyable. Watching the football game, normal Thanksgiving stuff. The after event, however, was great because the geckos misses wanted us to come over and meet the family. They've been together for a good long time, but they don't really know our family that well. So we hop in the car, take the drive, Uh and it's for dessert and drinks. I was already in a pretty bad mood. And um, why? uh, I have a old injury that was acting up at the time. And I was like in a good bit of discomfort. Mm. So I kill a 10% tall can at my parents' house. I get there and... The Mrs. Uh, stepdad was with, was there, and he's very old school, very salt of the earth, and he's never seen me before. And he just sees this big, sketchy looking, scruffy dude walk into his house, and immediately, "Hey, man, you want a beer?" And I'm like, uh, "Sure, I guess." Nine and a half beers later, I'm finally like, "All right, dude, we need to slow down." Ah, fuck it, it's the holiday, man. Let's go for it. I'm chilling. I'm stopping. These guys keep drinking. I'm trying to talk to the kids, people our age. Well, we're not kids, we're all adults, but people our age, having like fun conversations. All I hear from the other table is, and then somebody in the cartel kidnapped him, and they never saw him again, and his whole family fled the state. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening over there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you... process. oh, yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's Thanksgiving. I don't even know what the fuck is going on here. Dude, it was it was wild in conversation. Like it was uncomfortable as shit because we didn't know him that well. We barged into the house with a pie and a six pack, and we're like, "Oh, hey, we're this person. I'm this person. Pleasure to meet you." And in no time at all, it turned into everybody but the DDs getting pretty faded and telling wild and ass stories, old folklore from the old country, exchanging like coming to find out that they both come from very humble beginnings, mm. and they are talking. All kinds of crazy shit, like stuff I'm really not gonna say on recording because it would make people uncomfortable. But like wild, wild shit. And I'm sitting here and I look over at the TV, this big like 70 something inch, and they have Avatar 2 on full volume, just blaring, drowning out the conversation. It was a fucking weird Thanksgiving dinner, dude. It was weird as shit. 
Well, did you real quick? Not not to cut you off. Did you guys know there's an Avatar game that came out recently? Yeah. 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 And no one's good. talking about it. Yeah, and it got overshadowed because you know Baldur's Gate dropped on console, so whatever. <laughs> Dude, no one is talking about it. I I found out because I saw endless ads everywhere about it, but I'm like. I go to YouTube and no one's talking about it. No one. Uh, I, I see all my friends is playing it. Nothing. I'm like, wow. Must be that bad, huh? I'm debating yeah. about getting it. Debating. Because it's a massive fucking game. I can't even imagine how much storage space um, it, it requires. Probably more than Destiny. And Destiny was like 150 gigs. I don't know, man. I think it's kind of just went under the radar. I don't even know if it's bad or good. Some people say it's bad. Some people just don't even know. No oh, idea. Baldur's Gate won Game of the Year. Suck fucking tits. Yes, it did. Expected. Right so. Expected. Fuck yeah. every other game. Baldur's Gate for the win, baby. But the highlight of that <laughs> evening for me is just Christopher Judge taking a random fucking jab at Call of Duty. Oh, for those that was amazing. amazing. That was amazing. That was targeted. Like, real quick, for those that don't know Christopher Judge, he played Tilt on Stargate SG-1, and he also voice acts uh, Kratos for the, God, for the God of War video games, and he took a huge jab at Call of Duty because he caught hell for having a long uh, vict- uh, celebration speech last year, and he said this year, my speech is going to be short. But it's still longer than the Call of Duty campaign. Ah, <laughs> damn. That's so I had to insane. silence the audience microphone because how everybody was just going. Oh my god! You oh, look dude. the cameras that went to the audience were like you saw people laughing. You saw people like, oh no! What the fuck, you man? <laughs> yeah, so shout out to Christopher Judge keeping it a fucking buck and a half. A real one, goddamn! I can't believe that the Call of Duty devs and staff got on Twitter and started. I can't believe this is coming from a colleague. Oh my god! If it's coming from a colleague, it means more than if it came from some rando Joe Schmo like us. Listen to the man; he's speaking facts. Get a fucking clue, goddamn! Get your heads out of your ass. these are the same people who said Boulder's Gate's not the new standard. It's an exception, and it's it's not going to be what you think it is, and it's not going to be the future of gaming. With they have six awards that say you're fucking wrong, buddy. Yeah, you're right. It's not what we thought it was. It's not shit. It's actually good. A developer that actually gives a damn about their player base and what they say. Never had a doubt. I I trust Larian. I love oh, you, Larian. Divin- hey, Divinity sure. two hooked me. <laughs> Divinity 2 got me, and I've been loving this shit ever since. I still need to finish my playthrough of Divinity Original Sin 1. I got it, but I never finished it. Hey, you're doing it, though. I'm doing That's it. Commitment. And we can talk about games a little bit later, because they're like the gaming industry has just been a little topsy-turvy the last few months, and I definitely want to talk about that, because as gamers, we all play video games, and we want, and I want to talk about them. But before we derail onto that, we saw one more person to go through. How was your Thanksgiving? Good, sir. Well, other than just another day with an intimate uh, person, um, company with me, I, it was basically just a traditional Thanksgiving, you know, family, uh, partner, turkey, whatever. It was very just standard, not really all that exciting. Although it was a, probably the first time, I've, oh, second time ever in my life that we had ham. We're usually only a turkey. Mm. Oh, you never had holiday ham? Good. I mean, it was good, yeah, but I don't know, I'd, I'd still prefer my turkey, especially with how it was made. Not dry at all. Juicy as fuck. Tasty as, as hell. Be. You got a question. What's up? White or dark meat? Both. Kind of, hmm. both. It's kind of <laughs> hard for me to pick. I'm gonna say, I don't know. I can I gotta say light or white meat. I don't know white meat. See, white meat is more flavorful to me, but dark meat is just more savory, and I love me something good savory. But you see, what we damn right. But what a good way to alleviate that, add more savoriness, is we'll do what we do, is or what a lot of people do, 
is just baste it and inject it with butter. As the savoriness. Yeah. yeah. No, fair. Fair. I can't I can't argue that point. Yeah. But still, I just like meat in my mouth and I'll eat both. They can yeah, they can be it. taken in many different ways. We're gonna move on, please. Yeah. Okay. So oh, oh actually that reminds me. I think yeah. some of them are on are on the tick are, are on the TikTok. But I recently went to a couple of concerts, as you guys know. I went to go see yep. Dragon Force in early November, and then two weeks ago, I went to go see Ice Nine Kills. If you don't know who Ice Nine Kills is, you need to learn yourself something. They are known as theatricore, uh, metalcore. And if you don't know Dragon Force, they're that one uh, band that played that one song from that one guitar game that you played in 2006. Yeah, that yep. one. Yeah, that one. I'm talking about Guitar Hero 3. Learn yourself something. So but, when uh, we posted that Dragon Force video, within 90 seconds, holy shit, that's Billy Watkins! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no time at all for the comments to be like, ding, 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 ding. Yeah, that was so funny. Know, the special guest guitarist for this leg of the tour was The Do. Even though everyone's like, like hey, that. it's Billy. Mm-hmm. For, a, for content purposes, they had to call him Billy because they can't dox him technically. Even though he, I have videos that I can still submit to him standing on stage in front of everybody next to Herman Lee soloing. And I love the intro that, that Herman Lee gave him. He was just like, some of you guys might know him. He's a YouTuber with a huge with a huge fan base. He's known for his Omega videos. A lot of dicks, right, Billy? A lot yeah, of dicks. There's a lot of dicks. Whole a whole bunch of cock. A whole bunch of cock. <laughs> if you don't know who we're talking about by by that little bit of information alone, you're not a true do fan. He says it himself. A lot of, a lot of cocks. I got For the content. Like For the content. For the content. Rip, rest what in peace, Omega. Seriously. Bro. Oh, oh, so did shit get shut down? Yeah, yeah it's down. It down. It shut it down. Oh, Immediately, God. people are just like, no. so what's the dude going to do for a job? <laughs> what's the dude going to do when he needs to see dicks? <laughs> dude, that's that's a story for it's, a lot of fucking uh, content like, creators I'm, that base their shit around Omegle. He's probably just going to be like, fuck, I guess there's chat roulette. There's other substitutes. Mm. There's a there's an Omegle world in VR chat, uh, dude. You want to try that one out? It's kind of weird, but you know, it's cool. Oh, uh, dude, imagine dude goes VTuber. Oh, my God. He already has a more dicks. Time. More dicks. <laughs> more dicks. <laughs> in VR. VR. Now they're just going to be really in his face the whole time, waggling <laughs> and shit. It's like a 3D movie. He's going to be like playing guitar. His, just... pick gonna be his dick is going to be dick shaped. His dick is going to be dick shaped. What? What? His pick for his guitar. Oh. His oh. Okay. Okay. His dick is going to be dick shaped. Like that's yeah, what I heard as you well. Would, you know what? Yo, better you hope like, it is. Yo, you like my dick? Your dick better be dick shaped. <laughs> you swear to God, if you pull it out your pants, there's a corkscrew in there. I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> on the authorities. <laughs> or one of them their experiments out here. This podcast yeah, so has a lot of dick Congratulations in it. on uh, going on tour with Dragon Force. I'm sorry. Uh, shout out to Billy for going on tour with Dragon Force, and shout out to Billy's alter ego for uh, shacking up with Gamer Subs. You're gonna get a cup and a t-shirt. I already bought them, bitches. <sighs> that t-shirt uh, goes hard. I wish not I could. Even They've been pumping out a lot of content with a lot of uh, content creators. Like yeah. I saw, Asmund mm-hmm. Gold and Soda Poppin has a mouse pad. And it actually goes kind of hard. I would buy it if I already didn't have two other wife and mouse pads that I'm actively not using. Yeah, there's I, there's a new addition to the Gamer Subs line that I'm like, I hope they make a cup or some sort of flavor with because, oh, everything would be funny. The Smitty. I was about to say, he's not a he's sponsored. I'm like, bro, either a flavor or a cup of oh, just a hot chick with a milk bag for a head. <laughs> That'd be <tight. laughs> a milk bag with a rack. <laughs> <laughs> that would look so scuffed. They would make a mouse pad out of that so quick. <laughs> oh, I'd probably buy it. Well, maybe for season five trash. or six, whatever season that they're on. Yes, yeah, so shout out to all those people that are recently collabing with them, especially you, Finster. I saw your shirt and cup drop yesterday, and it looks awesome. But now, rolling oh. forward, Deej, uh, quick, quick interjection. 
the Finster thing reminded me. They're opening up a Fanboy Hooters. Do you want to go? Yes. All right, cool. I'll put go. it in the books. <laughs> Dude, people, when they hear half of the shit that we said, they're like, are they actually gay? Or are they just really good at this? What I'm just supportive. He's I'm trying supportive. to be a good friend. <laughs> He's supportive. There, I also saw that apparently there's now a goth girl Hooters, which just says, yes. that's also fun. Oh, all right. Hell yeah. Damn it. We just missed my birthday. <laughs> hey, your birthday was fun, though. It oh, was yeah. a blast, but you know, can you imagine? Yeah, you know, and the night. At You're right. Night. If I had known about that before your birthday, I said, "Fuck the concert, bro. I got something better." <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was actually meeting, I was actually gonna ask that. So, what oh. concert did you go to? Because uh, for those that saw the short, there's a seven second clip of him filming a stage, <laughs> turning right. <laughs> and <getting> <laughs> oh, dude, that was hilarious! <laughs> Holy fuck! The instant Ooh. cut of the camera, I'm like, he's dead. He died. <laughs> he's not here. He's with not, I'll, I'll tell alive. you exactly what the fuck happened. This Okay, so we went to see, the headliner was August Red Red. It's Mikey's birthday also. Big man turned 30. Big 3-0. Yay! Old fart. Right? You're older, uh, motherfucker. Who else was there? So, the second. Uh, Spite, Brand of Spite, Sacrifice, yes. and Crystal Lake. And Chris Lake. So for the video is during uh, the breakdown of a song called Lifeblood by Brand of Sacrifice. Dude called for the wall of death. For anybody that doesn't know out there what the wall of death is, it's where the entire room splits in half and turns into a almost a murderous Red Rover, Red Rover. Right? Red Rover, Red Rover. Send everyone over. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. And then both teams run at each other. But so I was like, cool, this is one of my favorite songs. I want to get this drop on clip. So fucking everybody starts splitting. Fucking everybody starts splitting. God damn it. I did not want to be at the front of the fucking wall. <laughs> he tried to run. <laughs> I turned to Mike. He was like, I'm not in this. But he's like, yes, you are. I was like, God fucking damn it. <laughs> right? So I, like, <laughs> I get my phone up. I'm getting the clip. Drop hits a little sooner than I expected, honestly. Way so, sooner. All right, so I just start going. I see my buddy that, I, that I've been looking for like 10 feet over. I wish I ran through him. I go. There's somebody in front of me. I death grip my phone. I expect resistance. I run through whoever the fuck's in front of me. They tumble over. I tumble over on top of them. And then somebody also tumbled over onto my fucking back. <laughs> Bro. I, the whole time, and this is a new phone, I'm death gripping this shit, bro. <laughs> so fucking hard. I was like, God damn it. I'm going to break my new fucking phone in this goddamn wall of death that anyone will be fucking part of. But here we are. Yeah, because in the clip, the clip's like fucking six or seven seconds long. It's about the, the length of a vine, for those I remember vine. He's Woo! looking at the stage, turns right, camera goes black. Boom! <laughs> Does yeah. Smash! It happens that fucking quickly, but that's moshing, and moshing is cathartic. Oh I'm my god, that was so much fun, but I just wish I had gotten a better fucking... <laughs> like, I took uh, a lot of videos... With... Drop. Like, uh, I took a lot of videos for Ice Nine during, uh, when they did uh, Welcome to Horrorwood, my buddy was in the pit. He ended up losing his glasses, uh, like his prescription glasses, the glasses he asked me to hold on to in advance before he went to the pit. I even reminded him before he goes into this final pit, it's Welcome to Horrorwood, that pit's going to be fucking crazy. Do you want me to hold on to your glasses? No, nah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Guess what? Drops them, loses them, finds them again. They've been crushed to smithereens. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Easily. It, uh, worst part? Uh, he uh, He's the guy that drove us there. Oh. Even, even better part. Nobody could drive his car because he drives standard. Losers. Oh. Picker. With the one person that can drive his car is his uh, is a sixty year old father icing on the cake. Dad's been drinking since ten a.m. That's good. Yes, yeah. bro. <laughs> and it's an hour away from like from where we were. It's an hour to get back to my house. So, so no, Dad, no. it. Oh, go ahead. Huh? No, we're gonna say. Uh, no, go ahead. I would do it after you. Go on. So we all just like, so, uh, Mr. Answer Name here, do you think you can drive 
uh, homie's car back to back to my house and then get y'all home safely. Yeah, what? What happened? I lost my glasses, Dad, and they got crushed. Oh shit! Now we getting home. <laughs> Do you think you can drive? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> I look at my buddy, I look at my buddy's girlfriend, I look at my buddy's sister, and I'm just like, I don't mind Ubering. I don't mind Ubering. It'll be $300. I don't care. <laughs> he goes, nah, trust me. I have faith in my dad. Immediately. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> some faith. Yeah, some faith. Divine faith. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> we get I the mean, car. he's still here. Something <laughs> divine <laughs> intervened. Dude, we get in the car. Dad figures out that his son has Spotify hooked up to his vehicle. Dad fiddles around on Spotify for a little for a little bit, puts on uh, puts on the uh, Bad Religion, and then just keels off. Oh. I'm pretty sure he dropped it into fifth gear, going onto an on ramp. <laughs> oh, dude! It was that supposed guy. to be an hour drive. We got there in 40 minutes. Oh shit! You guys should have been playing Danger Zone. Yeah, see, Dad is a metalhead. Dad let it be known that he is a huge metalhead. Because as soon as uh, he mentioned that he was going to go to the Ice Nine Kills concert, he tells his wife, because his wife didn't know this, uh, wife goes, wait, you're a metalhead? He goes, yeah, I listen to like Ice Nine every single fucking day. Ice Nine is my life. That's insane, bro. Not only is Tom's like concert lineup something I wish I could see out here because God, that's one hell of a lineup. Two oh, of those, so good. two of those, like no, three of those bands. I want to see Honestly, live. I was thoroughly impressed with Crystal Lake as and they were the opener. Dude, I want to oh, see them the live, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, bro, I love this shit. Brand of Sacrifice, I want to see fucking like, August Burns Red. Obvious choice, I want to see and. Not only that, DJs, God, I wish they came out here because the lineup they had for the Ice Nine concerts was so good, and I wish they came out here, but I got the In This Moment, um, Motionless of White concerts, which I had loved. I love Motionless of White, don't get me wrong. They'll blow the roof off every time. Oh, yeah. But around this time of year, I would have loved to see Ice Nine Kills because... Their their aesthetic fits the Halloween theme so well. Yeah, the uh, the lineup for the Ice Nine concert that I went to it was New Year's Day. Whom I forgone to uh, watching New Year's Day to go get merch. This is one thing about me. There will be an opening band where I don't care. I'm gonna go get merch because as a guy that wears XL, probably the most popular T-shirt size. Yep. I, I want a damn T-shirt, and I want a chance to get a damn T-shirt. Yeah. That's the first thing I always do before anything in a concert is go straight to the merch line because nine times out of ten, my, my shirt size will be gone within the first like hour or two. Like, you bought five, you brought 500 shirts. Well, I was the 501st customer, and now I'm SOL. Fuck you. I'm getting, I'm getting a shirt first. Sorry, New Year's Day. Nothing against you. Then afterwards, it was uh, this band called Avatar, whom I've heard of, but I never yeah. heard of their music. Avatar's tight. We're gonna do this was... forever after shock. <laughs> that's what that's how we edited for no, our, man. Our <laughs> Sorry. So the first off, he Mando comes out of a watch. fucking Christmas package from a dude wearing a gimp suit, and I'm like, okay, that's fine, whatever. Live just live your best life. That's so on brand. Those Swedish men are maniacs. <laughs> oh yeah. And um Oh, during the, during the states, and he uh, he stops and he's just like, for those that don't know, Avatar, we are from Sweden. Some random dude just yells, just like PewDiePie. <laughs> bro, oh, bro. get that man out of here. Oh, the crowd was about to turn on him until the lead singer started laughing. <laughs> so he had a good sense of humor about it. But I'm like, that man does not know how close he was to potential death in minecraft <laughs> oh dude that was a moments before disaster video right there oh yeah people caught in 4k this dude got killed and then afterwards it was in this moment which i love in this moment i think in this moment is great my only doubt oh, yeah. in this moment is i think she's putting on more of a play than she is a concert because at one point i couldn't tell if she was singing or not 
I had thoroughly convinced myself she just had the soundtrack going, and then she and her dancers were just dancing to it. That's what. She's, that's the kind of the vibe. Very I, like, and yeah, yeah, that's the vibe I got with mine too. Especially since a lot of the time uh, when I saw them live, it felt like there was just a lot of space in between songs of because they're just changing costumes, getting the set chains and all that stuff. And I'm like, wow, this set is a long one. Oh yeah. We're we're here for an hour of you changing your clothes every every two minutes. Yeesh. Like right. good <coughs> good music when it starts, but the time in between, my my hype is going down, and then it gets up, and then it's down. It's just so much time. Yeah. And then there was this uh, before Ice Nine t- uh, took the stage. There was this little poll thing that they had up where you could like scan a QR code, and then. It just simply says, which band member do you want Jeremy to kill? Uh, not, not Jeremy. Uh, do you want Spencer to kill at the end of the stage set? And I'm like, well, like, literally? In front mm-hmm. of us? <laughs> no, that's not black a metal shit. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That, that, that's what my buddy told me. My buddy Ryan, he just goes, that sounds like black metal to me. And I'm like, did Ice Nine change up their sound or something when we weren't here? What the fuck is this? No, he just this next song's inspired by Goat Whore. Nah! <laughs> this one's a shout out to our inspiration, Gorgoroth. Fuck it up. <laughs> Fuck it up. <laughs> be great. Yeah, no. Uh, if you listen to true Norwegian black metal, you are dif- you are a different human being in many different ways. And don't associate with me, please. <laughs> you listen to Brutal Slam. I it's listen to a lot, but yeah, not that shit. I ain't murking nobody in my metal. Not yet. The gecko. That right there is like the craziest side of metal. That right there is a future serial killer. I I listen to Acid Breather. They're black metal. I listen to Behemoth. You know, my son black metal, but if you're you're just out here, you're that dude. Look, if you're that dude out here like, who could I kill in the audience at that show? Don't associate with people. Like, Go check yourself in somewhere. Get a nice asylum. Yeah, and Mike then don't ever to... come the fuck out. Hard, still hardest to I go early. deathcore. That's it. That's as far as Jake I go. Is still, I guess to listen to some like early Cradle of Filth back when Danny Filth was still friends with Bam Margera era, and then uh, that rhymed on accident. That was cool. And then that was good. That was good, uh, yeah. the band Dimu Dimu Borgir for those I remember Dimu Borgir. They're not around anymore. That's about the only black metal I care to listen to. Other than that, metalcore, alternative metal, and power metal. And thrash. A lot of thrash. A lot of metalcore. And then upcoming concerts that I, uh, that I have lined up is I saw Guar's going on tour. And Guar's on my bucket list. So good. But then it's I so saw that Amon and Marth is headlining with uh, Obituary and Cannibal Corpse. Yep. And that right there is already three on my bucket list right there. Guar, Amana Marth, and Cannibal Corpse. Fuck. So I have a so I have a choice to make. So I haven't I seen finish. Cannibal Corpse yet. Cannibal I Corpse think. is fun. No, I'm surprised so. of that one. Cannibal yeah. Corpse is a very fun show. And they then don't really come through our run. area. Huh? Oh sorry, they don't come through our area like Ever. It's rare for them to come through mine, too. Luckily, there's three different venues that they're bound to go to one of them here where I live. Yeah, but then I'll just speed run through the Dragon Force State set. The opening band was some band called Edge of Paradise. Don't know who you are, but they had a laser show during a power metal concert. That's dope. Uh, then afterwards was this uh, funny power metal band called Nana War of Steel. They're fucking great. I love Nano War Steel. Norwegian reggaeton is my favorite. <laughs> I would love to see them open for Electric Cowboy. That would be a wild crowd. That oh, would yeah. be a fucking wild crowd. And then after Nano War Steel was Amaranth, and I uh, quickly and swiftly backed out of Amaranth to go stand in the merch line because uh, this oh. might be a hot take. I don't care what? about Amaranth. Really? I like Amaranth. Hmm. Yeah, what the fuck's your problem? No, I every like, time I, every time we talk about music, you always got some haterade in your system. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's like, this might be a hot take. Whole party 
hands on him immediately. What do you mean? I mean, I'm not the. Mean? I don't know a lot of their music, but I still think Armand is, or Amrath is a good man. I like him. I'm not saying that they're bad. It's just every time when I listen to their music, I can listen to like one or two songs that I'm like, okay, I need it. I need to switch to something else. Like, I but think you're the song an avid fan of Attila. Huh? I said, but you're an avid fan of Attila. No, I'm an avid fan of Attila mosh pits because their pits are fun. Okay. That's Speaking so oddly they're... specific. Speaking Sorry. of which, Attila's going on tour with Born of Osiris. Uh, Why? Uh, God damn it! I don't want to see Attila. What the fuck? I know that's where I'm conflicted too. Like I really want to see Born of Osiris, Same. but Attila's I gonna be there. Seen Born of Osiris like four times. Uh, but you know what? I'll... I think I've seen him nine times. No exaggeration. Damn. I like Born of Osiris, and they got me into the scene. So when they're in the area, I'm gonna fucking go. Yeah. Oh, it's, 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 it's in San Francisco. We're not going to that show, bro. Why not? The Regency is a good spot. <laughs> this man immediately knew which venue, too. Because yeah. we've been there, there hella times. I haven't been to the DNA Lounge, though. Dude, it's such a small shithole. <laughs> I love those shows. <laughs> you can fit 20, like, I don't know how they sell 100 tickets. Because I'm pretty sure their capacity is 50 people. <laughs> Hell yeah. They're not counting on people Phil size well, showing up. This is like the place where I uh, watch hey, where yo, I saw Wage War. $75 right now, bro. I wouldn't see Oof. Wage War in the, one of those little dive bars. Type GA. Shits. Bro, so did we. Seeing Wage War in a fucking bar is yeah. awful. You get the <laughs> shit kicked out of you. The place was your bag. You can barely Frazier move. Flat. <laughs> Fraser Flat and the lead singer of Varials. That's oh, how yeah. small the band. <laughs> See, but some of those bar shows are fucking sick. Like one of my favorite bar shows. This was before the time where we had to stay inside for two years. Ah, shit! But uh, inside a bar in New Hampshire. <laughs> for those that know the bar, I, I'll leave, I'll leave the name out of it. But for, but for those that know the bar and the New Hampshire area, you know what I'm talking about. But in this uh, particular bar, I saw August Burns Red, Mem- uh, Miss May I, and Memphis Mayfire. Oh, that's a good lineup. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. I didn't know who oh. the fuck Miss May I was up until that show, and I walked out battered, bruised, and a huge fan. Nice. Yeah, dude. Small venues, honestly, are my favorite, especially it's in that one uh, I was talking about. It's called the Bourbon, and that same concert, it's a or same venue. It's first place I ever saw Wage War and Ice Nine Kills. Oh, and Bad Omens. That's where I really got into. M- m- Bad Omens is right after Bad I saw Omens them. Bad Omens a pretty dope show, bro. They huh. are amazing. Live. I, I've seen Ooh. them like twice already. I want to see them again. But... I think they were at Aftershock last yeah, year. Yeah, they were. We saw them at Aftershock this year. Yeah, my memory is also all over the place. I was trying to remember. <laughs> but, dude, it was so packed for the Wage World one. The one of the opening bands, for, uh, While She Sleeps, the lead singer was able to just. Casually he do walk thing? out onto the walk into the crowd. Yeah. Like we we're holding him up by the feet. Yep. It's easy. <laughs> so was... it's so uh, he's so packed. he's so light, right? <laughs> he's a light motherfucker. He's a light motherfucker, but so, if there's so many people in one place, this there might as well have been a platform of hands. He just uh huh so packed. The <laughs> dude is crazy. He, like some years ago, I don't know if Mikey, if you were at that show, they were at Ace of Spades. And there's some railing that you can climb yep. up from the ground up to the ceiling at a, on the inside venue, Ace of Spades. This man monkey climbed to the top and monkey barred his way over the crowd oh, into the center of the pit. Everybody moves to the center of the pit <laughs> and he drops onto everybody just from like 20 feet up. Dude, That's it's fucking insane. crazy. Oh, it is crazy. <laughs> and he weighs all of nothing. Going. Yeah, and he's singing the whole time somehow. Like, what the fuck? So God after damn. we get him on the ground, the pit opens back up and it's going around him. And he's just sitting there with the mic doing glass houses, screaming his fucking lungs out. Dude, it was wild. That's insane. Yeah. Like, I didn't know, know who they were until that show, and then I became a fan instantly. Oh yeah, that, that was legit. That's something that reminds me of um, when I saw Beartooth live when they were opening for A Day to Remember. 
fucking the lead singer Beartooth was literally just running into the crowd and everyone's just splitting in the way for him and he's just going up and down the crowd. It was like an amphitheater and he's just going up and down the hill to singing while doing it. And I'm like, bro, how can you breathe? How much, I got fucking chills how, many, right how much air can you hold in your lungs? Dude, he strains himself because he did the, he did the same thing when I saw him uh, a few months back uh, when they were opening for Falling in Reverse, where he just jumps into the crowd while singing, and then he just at one point the microphone could not pick up his voice anymore, so he just throws the mic onto stage and then he just starts doing an acapella, like he quiets the entire crowd down and then just starts shouting from the top of his lungs, and you could still hear him no matter where you're no matter where you were standing. Hmm. That's goat shit right there. That is goat shit. I don't take Bear Two too seriously because, like, I'm not the hugest fan of post hardcore, but that man has my fucking respect. Dude, respect all the way. That dude's a showman. He's dedicated. But put a shirt on, god damn it. You inappropriate <laughs> Seriously, he always takes put a it shirt off. on. You make me feel bad about myself. For real, He's the machine. <laughs> <laughs> So this is swiftly turned into a fucking rock talk. Oh. Welcome to No School, everybody. How'd you guys doing? I got Always. lemonade up my nose. But then lastly, fucking I saw that uh, fucking Lord Biscuit is going on tour with a bunch of people who might... You mean New Metal that. Cowboy? Get his name right. <laughs> That's so <laughs> That's funny. So, oh my God. Howdy, y'all. My name is Frederick Durst. And I'm here to party. <laughs> that is so funny. I saw the <laughs> clips. That was just funny. They open with breaks up and then I know I'm not really supposed to do this. But I don't give a fuck. I want to party. Ban it. Ban it. up twice. Yep. Oh my word. <laughs> that was so uh, fucking funny. Yates, get up. Fred Durst <laughs> has lost his fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, like again, when you're Fred Durst, you can kind of just do whatever the hell you want. He does have that energy about Legit, him. Legit, the fucking character. He's like, I swear, he based his outfit off the fucking Clyde character model from Cursed. <laughs> I thought he just wanted to dress up like a bull, like a bull rider. If you get on, if you hop on Cursed and you look at the fucking werewolf character Clyde, it's the same fucking outfit as Fred Durst being New Imagine. Metal Cowboy. Same fucking facial hair, too. They got the same fucking handlebar stash. Both I wonder of them. If, if he plays Curse Vote and maybe, like, if you guys bodied him once or twice before, what have you sent Fred God, Durst back so. to the lobby? God, I hope I did it more than once. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I hope I hit him with the flamethrower. <laughs> one last thing when, when, it comes to con- when it comes to concerts. In about a week and a half's time, I'm actually going to another show. I'm going to be going to see uh, Lorna Shore. For the first Ooh, time, really. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I am jealous. Jealous. I want to see them. Yeah, this is going to be my first uh, Lorna Shore show, and opening for them is uh, the this band called Entheos. Very yeah, they're, they're pretty good. They're awesome. Oh. Entheos is actually pretty tight. Varials is pretty good too. Yeah. Uh, Rivers of Nile, and then Currents. Currents. Oh, I'm jealous now. That's pretty a, good. That's Rivers a line of Nile. Up. I like them, but I can't say you will. They're very weird. Are they like a super niche type of deathcore? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I I wasn't a big that big of a fan. Like I respect the music, but I couldn't get into them. They're very oh. different. You have to have a real. It's like black coffee. You love it or you don't. There's no in between. Yeah, but Varios is good. Uh, the, what was the other one that he said? Uh, Antheos. Antheos. Antheos, yeah, Antheos is good. I heard a couple of their stuff. I need to get into them the a little more. Oh, you know, like she's, maybe she's three songs. But <laughs> doesn't she look like um, Twister from Twisted Metal? There it is. There it is. Doesn't she? There it is. That's why I can't figure. That's why I couldn't figure it out. That's why I was having issues with Twister. See, it's all coming. He's together. only character, and he's like, man, I don't know if she's hot or not. And I'm like, I don't know where that means, dude. <laughs> I was I was struggling with it, but there you go. We actually saw Lorna Shore some years ago. Yeah, when pre they Will, there. yeah, pre yeah. Will Ramos era. Yeah, different band. It really is a different band, bro. Oh yeah, Brand night and day. Night and day, still game. good. Yeah, but Will Ramos has done something phenomenal with that I, band. I bro. think 
I think I didn't really care too much for the old Lorna Shore. I've heard songs before then, but I think it was Will Ramos that got me it. into it. Yeah. Well, yes, honestly, you just upset the goblin, you... Brandon. Well, I still like a couple of the songs before Will Ramos. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the devil. I saw the horns go up and everything. <laughs> I'm I the said devil, I'm bitch. the devil, bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> what was her name? Man, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Man, I was a bad bitch earlier tonight. <laughs> what was her name again? Uh, we're gonna. Fuck you guys. Fuck you, guys. you guys are right. pussies. You're not a fucking party. That's <laughs> why so when I pour, when I was pouring my drink, I poured it a little extra. I, that, that exact phrase went through my head. I was like, he would say that to me right now. Oh, fuck. That was so real, real quick, so before before we move on, because we have to do it, we have to do an ad read. Uh, honestly, some of the some of the vocalists that have been sticking out to me recently, well, not recently, because they, they've been around forever, but the three that I've been looking up to the most is, well, A, Will Ramos, because the, okay. some of the sounds that man yeah. can make yeah. are inhuman. Uh, Noah, start. From, Noah from... Uh, uh, yeah, from sorry, a that's another man, one. got a powerful-ass voice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, honestly, Alex Terrible, because... Yeah! He yeah. Good He's he such a gangster! I love that man. He's nice. He'd... I got to meet him once. He's hella nice. He seems like he seems like a cuddly a cuddly type of dude. Yeah, no, I'm like once he's off him. stage, he's just like one of those guys that just smiles all the time. He's just like, yeah, yeah what's dude, up, his everybody? His Instagram. <laughs> I go to his Instagram <laughs> every once in a while, party. bro. It is just yeah, exactly. Feels he's good. like, I'm here for fun. His, his Instagram, Instagram is full of me. He was just like my morning routine. I'm eating oatmeal. Happiness. Yeah, <laughs> and he also just has a pet bear that he wrestles casually. Oh yeah, one of my oh, friends yeah. didn't believe me. I sent I sent her the video of like, yeah, he actually wrestles a bear practicing his screams. That's his like, bear. No, no. That's his what? fucking bear. <laughs> oh, fuck. yeah. He just hit the face bear. up real quick, but he still was just like, yeah, fuck yeah, he, you. Yeah, he doesn't care. He knows that. Look, he he. No matter how dumb you are, if you wrestle a bear. All right, you know there's a chance you're gonna get fucking bitched on, oh, even yeah. if it's just momentarily. Like this bear may right. love you, but this bear can still kill you. It's like a dog that bites you too hard. You know, it's like ah shit. Except now it has an extra five hundred pounds and the ability to slay your existence. Yeah, and just to and just to kill you with one quick swipe. You know, <laughs> and he's sitting there grappling it like a, like it's a WWE match. Just yeah. like. Bleh. Did you see the video of him also practicing his screams when he was buried at a beach up to his neck? Yes, no, but now that was good. hilarious. <laughs> he's just out there doing. A, he's out there doing a photo shoot, practicing his fucking screams, and he's been buried up to his neck, just at a beach randomly. But hey, like some people have their vocal training. Like I know Matt Heap, he's talked about his extensive training to to preserve his vocal cords. Then he got Alex Terrible. I'm just gonna scream at my bear and bear myself alive while I'm practicing. Look, he needs like a Rocky training montage of all the shit he's done to practice his vocals. <laughs> I can't even try it right now. Uh, Fuck the, it up. Do it. One of the funniest. One of the funniest clips I saw of him. Do it. You can do it. Yeah, do it. I don't, I don't think do I can. You, you drink some water. Hit us with it. There's no water in this room. There's liquor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just I'll try to do a scream. That's all I'll try. Do I'll it. try to do a growl. I oh, he's oh. shy. Oh. Yeah, the stage fright. Unless, we're, unless, you're gonna, unless you're gonna peek your mic in front of we <laughs> anyway. Yep, there it is. <laughs> he peeked his mic. <laughs> just cut out. <laughs> Just immediately cut out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like we had we had a brief, beautiful quarter second of. <laughs> Damn it! That's awesome. Yeah, this why I can't. Brief- this why I can't handle no vocals, bro. For this another a time. Recording device. For another but time. For that brief. For that brief quarter second. Very good. Very well done. Very well done. But it is time. We need to take a break. We need to take an yeah. ad break. So we're going to roll on over and talk, and and you're going to hear from our sponsor, Debbie. Take it away. Hi, guys. It's me, 
DJ, I just wanted to take this time to remind you guys once again about our partnership with Dubby. If you want to change the way you game, Dubby is the way. Now head on over to Dubby.gg and use our code NSE for 10% off your total order. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, everybody out there on the internet. No Skill Mike here, here to invite you personally to our No Skill Discord server. In the description below, in the link tree, easy access to all the fun, music, and other entertaining things we share and interact with the community on every single day. So hopefully I'll see you there or somewhere out here in this big, wonderful world. Hello and welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed that pretty little ad read. Thank you very much to W for hanging out with us, still supporting us to this day. You are awesome. You are beautiful. And your locks are lovely. And your eyes are wonderful hazel green. And also, join the Discord. It's public. It's open. You should join. Drop a meme. Drop us some music. We're in there all the fucking time. So come in there and say hi to us. But anyways, moving forward, we've had... An elongated discussion of music, especially of the rock era of music, because we're all a little bit of rock heads. Yes. And now we're going to flip it over because we started talking about video games earlier because the, the, the Game Awards happened as of this recording a couple days ago. And I just want to kind of talk about, you know, the gaming industry and the landscape that it's currently in. Some games have dropped that have been fucking fantastic. Some games have dropped where... You're looking at the dev going, why the fuck did you make this? So, I want to start off with the game that has been sweeping content creation. Lethal Company! Oh my god. Yeah, so as of this recording, we have a Lethal Company video up. You should absolutely go and check that out. After you watch this video, though, then watch the Lethal Company video. It's a banger. It's a fucking banger. So, I've played it once. Mikey's played it once. These two have played it twice. Um... I want to just get your guys' thoughts and opinions a bit. Like, what was, like, what went through your mind? What were you expecting compared to how you feel about it now? Starting with you, Mendo. For which, for which game? Lethal Company? Yep. Yeah. Um, well, it's, a, I would say it's a lot of fun. It does do this thing where it raises my blood pressure, and I actively try to avoid that. But, That's you know. Game. Yeah, but I think like when me and Brandon over here tried it the first time, you know, it was good. We did good. It felt a little difficult, but once we had all four of us in there, I noticed a wild difference in how much more can happen, is what I'll say, in a very quick amount of time. So playing it by yourself sounds awful, also. If you play it by yourself, you're a fucking maniac. I don't know how well, well, to be right now. Well, there's already content creators because, again, there's people that had to like speed run or do something in the most difficult right. way possible solo. There's already people soloing, getting the most money and the most quotas met. Playing it does themselves. make it hilarious that they do turn a shovel into a weapon. And I am always on the bit that a shovel is the ultimate weapon. Yes. And now Lethal Company will prove it once and for all. Yeah, I love the fact that I, I did notice that when you guys, when it was just playing, uh, wow, words, when it was just you two playing, like, okay, if he dies, then he dies. The game ends really quickly. Whereas if you have more people, you are, it's like lifelines, life chances of, okay, somebody can make it back to the fucking ship and send it. Because this man, when we play it, I'm, like when you watch the video, just a brief, just a brief context, there's going to be a point or a couple points when this man, as soon as he sees any sort of creature or monster, he just fucks off and he leaves <laughs> and he'll leave the entire crew. He left Mikey. He, he didn't know Mikey was dead, but he's just like, Mikey, you there while going towards the ship? Fuck this <laughs> B, I'm out. Yeah, I knew you two were <laughs> dead for sure, but I'm just like, if you're not dead, whatever. And then I'm just like, fuck it, I'm going. Dead or alive, now he's dead. Doesn't matter. <laughs> fuck it, fuck it, B. The first impressions for me, I was like, okay, I don't really go out of my way to play, like, I can't say that. I do play horror games. I play a lot of horror games. But I think the the jump scare factor, this was the first game where it actually startled me when something uh, started following me. Like, the person that I saw was that big, like, half monkey looking thing that was crawling on the ground towards you, Brandon. Oh, my God. When I first saw that thing, that thing terrified me. 
it was loud. It was moving fast. And I legitimately screamed so loud. I got a text to my roommate because it was midnight. She's just like, I have to be up in three hours. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'll scream my, my cries of pain in silence. Yeah, even in the video, you'll see the first time I ever see that monster. I yell. <laughs> I, I screamed. <laughs> I was running from my life. Especially with him on uh, on M and K, you just know he goes, huh, and then you just see him shake his mouse uncontrollably, like turn, fucking turn. Uh, no horror game has made me scream like that in forever. I put a lot of horror games, and none of them has made me just jump scare scream like Lethal Company. So props, you've done it. Yes. All right, now, Mike, your 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 impressions of Lethal, of Lethal Company thus far. <clears throat> um, <laughs> honestly, I think Lethal Company is a prime example of what an indie title should be. It is innovative, it is interesting, and it is accessible. The community has been been able to create content. They've been able to experiment. They've been able to learn. They've been able to create mods already. Some yeah. of which on concept alone, are fucking bone-chillingly scary. Uh, DJ, I don't know if you've heard, there's a Skinwalker mod, and it mimics the player's voice and lures you into traps. Yep. Yeah, Yeah. we're, we're going to be doing that one eventually. Don't worry. And then I'm going to see it's really simple as Freddy Fazbear comes and chases you. My skin is crawling right now. Like, God, no bullshit. I'm not excited for that. But see, it's... Might... I was just going to say the whole like Skinwalker copying your voice thing, unless he copies the exact mannerisms, it might not be that hard to differentiate who's real and who's the Skinwalker. Because if I hear Mando and be like, okay, that's a Skinwalker. How do you know? That's Mando not screaming. Our Mando screams a lot. Yeah, but if, if you he know, mimics like... me, it's just going to be him. You're just going to hear two of me screaming the whole fucking time. <laughs> He's going to be probably <laughs> screaming back. No. Yeah, exactly. I'll be yelling at my own fucking voice. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Krabs versus Robo Krabs trying to get this, uh, the secret formulae. This motherfucker. For those who watch SpongeBob, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you always reference SpongeBob. Because <laughs> I'm a fucking child. That's not a good thing. I know. Watch Trust a movie. Just my girlfriend still frowns upon me to this day. She's just like, he still quote cartoons. <laughs> he quoted better cartoons. SpongeBob sucks dick. Why well, hit her with Dexter's lab all the time, but she never saw it? Quote Tom and Jerry. Yeah, all they do is make weird noises. Yeah. I already do that. Yeah, just do that. Farting. Yeah, just do that. <laughs> but no, back to leave the company, back to leave the company. So I love the fact that this quickly they're putting out the ability to uh, to mod the fucking game. That is awesome. It adds just another level of like like you said of creativity and another for content creators you there's just more that you can do. I saw some dude play a game where he was in a lobby of like I don't know 12 people. Yep. The amount of chaos that can be had with 12 people in a lobby, the amount of noise that that fucking room is going to make is nutty. Dude, That's this, sensory overload. There's even mods for called like I think it's a called Brutal Lethal Company or something like that. And it just yeah. ups the monster spawns and just how many can be on a map exponentially. To the point where big lobbies like that are unnecessary. <laughs> That's crazy. And I love that they're actively making patch notes and doing anything. They, they, as of this recording, they released a patch note already saying that they met, that they fixed some bugs and they fixed some uh, some glitches and exploits and they added in a new a uh, couple new items and a new new monster monster dude. yeah new monsters I think maybe one or two I know Is one it of not them. just one dude two? I thought it was just one dude. No, it's a group of like what was it eight. Something like that, but the main developer is uh, Zeekers. Zeekers, I don't know. He's he's a furry off of Twitter that uh, used to be a Roblox map developer, but now he's doing other games. He's upgrading. Yeah. So as long as they keep up that momentum of uh, adding more stuff and then fixing everything, maybe fix some of your uh, your audio issues or the fact that, you know, when Brandon's pulling away in the ship and one of your armless dogs just still jumps into the ship and eats him. Um, oh, no, keep that in. <laughs> keep that in. It gets so those things can go into the ship. That's awesome. 
Because one of the things that didn't make it into the video is this man gets grabbed by a fucking guardian through the ship and then just gets absolutely dismantled in front of us as we're pulling away. We're like, oh, damn. Fucking Didn't know they were cool like that. Although, yeah, so this new update got me really wanting to go in and find that nutcracker because that dude got a gun and I'm probably going to get shot by it. Speaking of guns, Mikey, how'd you like being the only person to get killed by uh, a <laughs> uh, three separate times on three separate All nights? three of us learned from your one mistake. <laughs> I went in, with, for this I went in the there. corridors with all of you where there was a turret, and I still somehow got hit every time. I don't know how the fuck that keeps happening. It keeps happening in <laughs> Curse, too. I'm the first one to catch strays as we walk into a field. <laughs> this is rightfully so. <laughs> Fuck, apparently, call a scientist. I somehow am magnetic to lead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. As soon as you walked in the building, the center and went, there's a goblin here. All right. Enough static. <laughs> Green skin sided. <laughs> what do you mean? I didn't know that was. A... I'm just, I'm looking at all the awards from Game Awards on this other. Did, did you know community support was an award? What yeah. 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 They Baldur's literally Gate. have an award for anything you could think of. Yeah, and Baldur's Gate won that Look shit. Community Baldur's maybe. Gate, they won that shit. The and Cod I, I didn't know. win any of them. Baldur's Gate also that won wasn't best even nominated. What do you mean? <laughs> what? Why? Baldur's Gate got best multiplayer game of the year. Yup. Yep. That's wild. That makes sense. Why is that wild? Because uh, like every year, it's almost like always a shooter of some sort, and it's like the first year it's here. It just feels good. And, the, right. it, and there was some stiff competition too on that one, and it still won. It had mm. uh, Diablo for it, which the dude, honestly, that multiplayer is so fucking stagnantly boring. After an hour, I start to fall asleep playing that shit. Well, but it, but that, Diablo 4 in general is just boring, and I wish I could refund yeah. it. Party Animals, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and Street Fighter 6? Yeah, Street Fighter Party and Party Animal? Animals is surprising. Like Those two are stiff competition. I mean, Why? Street Fighter, whatever. Like, there's always a Street Fighter game of some sort every year, whatever. But Street Fighter 6, well, honestly, good. it's really good. It is the most accessible Street Fighter to ever exist. Like, I'll say, when it comes to Street Fighter, I think it, Street Fighter was just a little bit too niche of an audience, but it still made it because it has, a de like, a dedicated fan base. Same, like, with, like, uh, Tekken and Mortal Kombat and all that fun shit. And then with Party Animals, Party Animals is still relatively new since it just recently came out-ish, so the fact that it even got a nomination that quickly speaks volumes. Because Party Animals is great. I think it, I think it is stupid fun. I'm you bad at it. You still need to but fucking it so play it. Hey, Mike, you'll like this one. Cyberpunk 2077 won Best Ongoing Game. Yep, it did. It did. And all them haters can suck it because they ain't got shit on a Game Award winner it, when there's it, ongoing it, games right now that are dominating the scene. I know. It Fuck outbeat them. Genshin Impact, Fortnite, mm -hmm. Final Fantasy XIV, and Apex Legends. That's insane. Oh, stuck in Apex. That is, and that's, that's insane for how much hate there is, and or was at least, and how much mm -hmm. shit talking everybody on the internet did about Cyberpunk for it to now win an award as the best ongoing game is that's wild. And congratulations uh, to CD Projekt Red for that one. Good CD PR Red on them. should have crip walked on the stage to get the award. That's what he should have did. <laughs> ah, 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 give me that shit. <laughs> dust his feet off. <laughs> yeah, dust it off. Accepts his award to the sound of gin and juice played in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's just like, for Jeez, those that God. didn't think I could do it, I did it, mama. <laughs> good for them, dude. That is, that's, Good, just good for them. That's all I can say about it. Good, like, for them. good on them, so man. Happy for him. And then shout out to Iron Mouse for winning Content Creator of the Year. You absolutely Yo. it. You fucking queen. Go. Ah. I don't know yeah. who these people are, but she outbeat Quackity, Breen, Cypher PK, and people makes games. They're I all very big names. 
They're very. They're big. all. They're all. They're all huge. But she's she's basically so. the v, She's the biggest VTuber in the entirety of VTube community, and she's also loved by anybody outside of the VTube community. Everybody to this day, for the last like two years, have been dying to get into some kind of collab with Iron Mouse. Like she is that fucking big. I love Taka's breakdown of the VTubing community. It's the human centipede, and Iron Mouse is at the front. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good on her for outbeat some stiff competition then yeah she is the she voted for Twitch. quackity <laughs> <laughs> wow. she voted for her competition and still won dude she's, she's such a else. sweetheart she said watch guys quackity's gonna win and they said her name character broke F- accent broke you heard that latino what the fuck <laughs> falls apart she's Puerto Rican as fuck oh yeah and when she's angry or shocked or surprised it comes out in full force and it does not pull any punches shit was hilarious but she quite literally is the queen of Twitch and then the king of Twitch is just whoever has the most subs in which case it's a current battle between Kai Sinat and Jinxie which Jinxie good for you for keeping Rainbow Six alive I've actually been having fun playing Rainbow Six again maybe because it's fun uh, watching all my other friends get angry at Rainbow Six, but thank you. Uh, Shout out to welcome. you, Crab. <laughs> Love fuck when that you, fucking gets angry. Crust- crust- fuck crust- you, station. Sanguine. <laughs> fuck you, Sanguine. <laughs> no, Sanguine's cool. Fuck you, Josh. Fuck you. you know what? You're right. <laughs> fuck you, Josh. It eats shit, Nate. Each. Yeah, no, 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 f- fuck you, Fabian, even though I really like you and I think you're cool. Yeah, yeah love you, Fabian. <laughs> oh, you guys are oh, dude, he's turning it around making it wholesome. Yeah, you can't be mad at Fabian. No, you can't. Unless you're playing Hunt with him, and then it's like, Fabian, you fucking moron! <laughs> nah, he carries me, so I can't get mad at him at Hunt. Dude, Dude every other... once in a while, his decision-making goes full-bore mental deficiency valve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes that's what that fucking game needs, all right? <sighs> oh, dude. It, it is... It is, no. There's nothing better than when we're fa- playing with Fabian, and then it's just me and Fabian fucking squad wiping. This is so fun. And then the next It'll game be... is this mental deficiency valve just open. The, it's it's the, confidence. the confidence. <laughs> the gets confidence gets Like, not to keep <laughs> shilling out our own channel and shit, especially since this is on our channel, but honestly, go watch the Rainbow Six video that uh, that we put out, like, what, a month ago? That thing is a banger. I still go back and I watch it, and I was a part of the shit. Another video where part. you can hear me angrily yelling at people. Yeah. Look like, where the fuck did it come from? It's called The Roof, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, man. <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's the favorite short on our channel for me, personally. And then I we love get those shit. shitters in the comments like, it's ant called a ceiling. Like, oh my oh god. My god. Oh, the fuck did you just say? <laughs> Listen here, grammar Nancy. Since I won't say the other word, I got a you story know about that. You're talking about Fucking nerds. All right, Not here. All right. Except, so that, while we're in the haterade to... zone, can we just also bring up Neil Newbun winning best performance? <laughs> yes. Doing... <laughs> Andrews fucking uh, okay, album. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri Lothwell. These are some of the biggest names in. Honestly, Cameron Monaghan, the guy from the Je- the recent Jedi games, he's also Yo, was in the Gotham God. series as the young Joker. He beat Wait, who won? Neil Newbin, the voice actor for Astarian. Yeah. Oh yeah, he yeah. deserves that shit. Yeah, he beat out, all he these. Out did Idris Elba? How did these huge names in the industry on, see, and on top of it Melody got the Liver, award from Benji Judge? <laughs> Well, you have to also remember, dude, everybody was thir- If you weren't trying to kill him, every single person that was streaming and playing Mikey. the game was thirsty for I wasn't Starry trying. I succeeded. Yeah, he did succeed. <laughs> I was Mikey, letting the uh, Twilight fanboy take me out in my Mikey's sleep. Mikey's the guy that makes sure Staria dies on every playthrough. He needs like, to know these hands are rated E for everyone. Like this is like the, there's one VTuber that I watch. She's a part of Hollow Live, uh, Nerissa Ravencroft. For those that know, she got into a relationship with a Starian early on, and then you could just see how thirsty she was for him. And then every single person that I saw that would do a playthrough, same thing, all thirsty for a Starian. Are his voice lines good? Yes, you have a seductive voice. Do I find it annoying? Immensely. But I'm not going to discredit the man. He he did well at what he did. Oh yeah, I will be here to discredit the man. I will be that man. 
Oh, you had so much hater eating you, she skinned. A suave Ooh. metrosexual vampire. Where have I met one of those? It's called <laughs> Dr. Frankenfurter from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Like, like this character was such a thirst trap. I was watching uh, this content creator. Uh, her, her name's Shenpai. And her, oh my god, her playthrough every time she was like, okay, I want to thirst over a starion. But then there's Karlak. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So it's like Demon she, she's being I'm being yeah. pulled by these two fucking hot characters. I don't know who to go for. Real you shit know, if Karlak was a vampire. Mithara. I'd get nothing done. Get no- <laughs> <laughs> I never see how the game ends. <laughs> what are you getting? Bro. What are you I'll give a star in his character yeah, this, that his his arc goes really two wildly different directions. It's either oh be a better person redemption arc, it goes far one direction, or hey, give in to the superpowers you have. And that goes in a completely other bad direction. And oh yeah. So I'll give him that. They have two wildly different arcs that he can I mean, do with them. I mean so, my heart still belongs to Shadowheart, even though you're a fucking cunt. You basic bitch. She's no, our mentally air princess and you will behave. You want to know who is a base? I will I saw, not behave. I saw the speed run like of uh, somebody getting laid the fastest in under four minutes, and it's Lazel. Oh, Lazel! I yeah. saw that. Two minutes, fifty-seven seconds. Like you're that easy? Mm-hmm. Easy clap. And they did clap. I think yeah, this. Like, I think the second easiest is a uh, Mandara. Yep. Because all you have to do is murder. You just have to murder the druids. That's all you got to do. Just murder a bunch of. Commit a war crime. You know what? Those druids. Hey, fuck off. Those druids have hate in their heart for everybody. All right. They were trying to seal themselves from the outside world and keep themselves and all they got. So fuck them. Fuck everything. I'm on their side. The outside world sucks, especially the sword toes. (laughs) <laughs> One of those little rat bastard tieflings sells their soul to a devil and then gets mad at you when you get their soul back. First of all, a person that's born as a tiefling, that's not even their fucking fault. That's what legit one of the parents fucking with that devil shit's fault. It doesn't matter. Your parents could be into some weird shit. It doesn't involve you selling your soul. That's like next level daddy issues. That's, that's warlocks, that's though. That, that's that's warlocks. Will, uh, that's, that's warlocks. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, Will has daddy issues. No shit. That's <laughs> no the whole. Shit. That's his whole fucking story. I <laughs> did. We we know you know warlock like in one so, of our campaigns, man. and uh, yeah, it's starting to all make sense. Yeah, he probably has daddy issues too. Anyways, not not Sanders. <laughs> Different like warlock. Some metal alchemist shit. Sell your soul to make something happen, and then he turned. Uh-huh. Well, no, because it's not in full metal alchemist. It's not selling. It's trading. It's a wild okay. difference. You know, what? bartering, barter. Yeah. yeah. Yes, but Where so, were we? The, we just went down a wild slope. <laughs> at the end of the, congratulations to Baldur's Gate for all the awards. Yeah, that you, uh, that good garnered. job. You, you deserve, good job, uh, Larry at Studio. Holy fuck! Good job. Win. And then, uh, just some of the games that I that I'm looking forward to currently because we're because we got to be closing out here soon, ish. Oh, one of the things that I wanted to talk about. So the game, the finals, is finally fully and completely out. Brandon and I ran a couple games yesterday, and it was fucking amazing. We recorded so it. Hopefully, funny. we can hopefully have enough footage to make a video out of it. But for those that don't know, it's a fast-paced three v three v three destructo shooter. And by destructo, if it's not the ground, you can destroy it. Every single building can be taken down. And at the end of the day, at the end of the timer, whoever has the most money wins. So it's free to play and it's also cross play. I know I'm shilling out a random video game, but I highly recommend you guys download it and play it. And then this way we have more opponents to face. The queue times were amazing. Oh, Brandon and I waited at most six seconds. Oh, it was insane. So I highly recommend that you two download it because again, it's free and we can have fun playing it. Mm-hmm. You know what? I think it's because there is no skill based matchmaking. Oh yeah, we got paired up with some sweats, but then we also had a sweat on our team who was just a gifted shotgunner, and then he had a turret that was just deleting everybody. It prioritized connection. 
Who knew Q times were that fast? Mind blown. Anyways. And then there's me. I have healing gun. I stand behind teammate. He healed me a lot when I was running out of the fucking grenade launcher. <laughs> oh, yeah. Full customization between what your character wears and uh, and all the types of guns and gadgets that you can use. It is such a good fucking time. I recommend everybody download it and play it. Like I said, it's free to play and it's cross play. So you can play with your Xbox nerd friends. That is the most and important play. part. I, we do want to look good when we kill people. Yes. Exactly. But then one of the upcoming games that I want to come out already, but there's probably going to be another play test, but for those that have seen, the Suicide, the Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League game. I mm. uh, played that, and under NDA, nothing else happened. So, look forward to that later on. But the Suicide Squad Kills Justice League game is great. Uh, basically, uh, some weirdo has taken my control of the Justice League outside of Wonder Woman and the Flash, and you have to go kill the rest of the Justice League. And you can do it as either Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, King Shark, or Deadshot. Pick your favorite. Captain fucking Boomerang. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm a, I'm a Boomerang man. I can play all of them, but Boomerang is is my is my fucking steez. But so that's one game that I'm looking forward to. Are there any upcoming titles that you fellas are anticipating? Waiting, waiting, waiting. Go for it. Crazy motherfucking taxi is making a comeback. I'm so excited. Oh, that's right. All those old ass games, huh? Jet Set is back, baby. Jet Set oh, fucking yeah. radio. <laughs> Golden Axe. Don't we're gonna come back Shinobi. to Shinobi. The Golden Axe. Golden Axe. Oh. Dude, Shinobi. That, it looks so good. Golden Axe was my first all nighter game I ever played. Bro. Same. I love that Bro. shit. I love that shit. Oh my god. That's good. Uh, I better have online multiplayer. It I swear to god if it doesn't. <laughs> oh. My only concern is I just don't want these games to be like letdowns because I would that that's what happened to me with the with Battletoads, is I was just kind of eh. Battletoads sucked originally. No, what Dude, the that fuck? Was my shit. <laughs> yeah, you better look away, Goblin. Battletoads was the shit back on the Game Boy. He speaks back. Awesome. He speaks back. I, I never fucking played it, so I have no opinion. Shit. Man, the Game Boy's older than you, that's why. Dude, fuck you mean I had a Game Boy? <laughs> yeah, who'd you inherit it from? No one. Damn. No <laughs> one. It was mine. It was, it was... I was the only one in my family that plays video games, bro. Uh, but... That's why when it comes to these titles, especially some of these classic, like, oh, the last time I saw a Golden Axe game was, like, N64. I and don't then, even, I don't think that's right. That might have been. Oh, no, it might, it might have been actually Sega, Sega. Genesis. Yeah, yeah Sega it's a Gen Sega uh, title. Yeah, yeah, it was, a, it was a Sega Genesis. That's the one console I forgot that I had. And then a uh, Crazy Taxi, we've all played that arcade fucking cabinet, if you haven't yet, dude. It's you missed wild. an entire generation. I'm, I it credit Crazy insane. Taxi for teaching people road rage. It was also a Dreamcast port, and I still have it, and it's so much fun. Of course you fucking do. I like retro games, man. I know. I know. He, he, he really Just, does. He still, go, he still busts out the old DDR1. Oh, I, yeah, got a fucking... I, got, oh, I got new pads. I found sealed, yeah, I found sealed factory fucking pads from, like, never been opened, been on the shelf all these years. Ooh. Damn. At a thrift store for 10 bucks a pop. That's insane. You got to steal. Dude, I was so Then the guy who uh, who works there knows me and he doesn't speak very good English. And he's like, he asked me to wait a second. I'm like, all right, cool. I wonder what he's going to show me. He comes out the back. He has uh, eight, or yeah, he has DDR2 and then HD Remix 3. I'm like, dude, how much? And he's like, ah, dude, do a fiver on each of them. I'm like, Fucking Whoa, deal, fuck. bro. That's crazy. That's that was so, that such a mine. steal. <laughs> it did, that thrift store is a little family owned business. I'm in there all the time. Nice yeah, little news. I, 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 I swindled up. them. I help. I help. <laughs> swindled and pimped by business. <laughs> I help. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I've been in there a lot. Okay. I get a discount every night. I'm just saying, you're lucky they didn't know what they had. Every once in a while, I'll throw them a bone because they get some stupid rare comics. Like, I shit you not, the first time everyone in there, 
they had Akuma versus uh, Wolverine on the shelf. And I'm like, wait, Ooh. why is that marked for 99 cents? You need to change that. You don't know what you're and holding then, right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, they had a Quest 1 in there for like $10. And I'm like, no, no, well, no, 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 no. Yeah. Holding everything except co- Coke heroin and your cock. Uh, they did. They had something else that was oh, wild oh, too, and I can't remember what it was. Yeah, oh saying? yeah, those uh, track drawing pads. You know the digital art ones. Oh, I remember those. Shit. They had a factory sealed one. They're like, oh, oh yeah, twenty dollars. And I'm like, you need to look on eBay or some shit. There's no way that's fucking twenty dollars. I need to find a thrift store out here. Shit. Dude, sometimes to... thrift shopping or even just going to like the, your local Goodwill, you can find some fun shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's where I got that N64 with the Pikachu case on it. Yeah, because like people are just are just willing to get rid of whatever the hell because they need to create space and they just want something gone. Nine times out of ten, it's angry wives that want their husbands to get rid of their fucking fun stuff. Hence mm-hmm. why, like my roommate, when I first moved into this house, she was like, do you even play any of these games? Well, no, they're for Xbox 360. All right, well, let's just take him to Goodwill. You will put my satchel of goods down. Oh, fuck, it's like, the fuck you will. The fuck you will. <laughs> you about to get RKO'd. Step back. You're you about to move will, out of the house we real quick. Get, we will get medieval in this bitch. You steal my shit. You're, you're losing a hand. And she's like, well, if you don't play them, I went, let unhand the satchel. I will sever thy hand with my blade if you do not unhand my video <laughs> games. What's so special about it? They're mine. There's a gift stuck in my head. I'm going to tell you that that joke later. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, but Mikey, uh, Mikey, Mikey hit his. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, the the collection of, you know, uh, Jet Set Radio plus Golden Axe plus Crazy Taxi. Yeah. Any other games that uh, you guys, that that you guys are looking forward to? Other than just that right there, what he said. Tekken 8's coming out in January. I knew it. Sounds like somebody's yeah. gonna say it. Tekken. Right. Uh, it's one of the few fighting games I'm kind of good at sometimes. I'm horrible, but I'll play you guys anyway. I'm horrible, and I probably won't be able to get it anyway. What say so, you, Mikey? <laughs> Over I'm there. Standing on my couch like Randy Orton, just soaking it in when that game drops. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like I'm oh, yeah. I mean, I'm looking at a list of next year's games, and that's really about it for me. It's honestly right now, it's Tekken 8. Looks, I like the Tekken series, they're fun, they're very fun. Yeah. Trying to think, so, here, like, other than just the whole Sega thing, which gets me so hyped, I've been wanting another Jet Set Radio for years, and Golden Axe is this icing on the cake, but. I found recent news got me excited because they finally were able to transfer servers to better uh, Linux servers and they're working on everything to get it released hopefully in early 2024. X Defiant is now also on the board again after delays so I'm excited for that. Hopefully it goes smoothly. Yeah, they just had a lot of server issues, and so, like, you know what? There's going to be a lot of people and probably going to be a lot of traffic, and they wanted to fix the server delay, so they just upgraded the servers. So Don't scale bound it. No, this that's not scaling bound. No, 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 no. It's coming. They just needed to upgrade servers. And now that they've done it and they're fixing up bugs, they hopefully are going to be giving us a release date sometime in early 2024. I still want scale bound. Somebody, please. Please can bring please, it back. Please. Some ne- Mikey, you're a necromancer. Go bring that shit back from the grave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to finish this drink. Let me make some calls. Find them games, day, please. That, that would be amazing. We want it. And games that I'm looking forward to coming out. Not, nothing really coming out that I'm looking forward to, but it's not already out. But the one thing that I have in my Steam list is uh, fucking Bulletstorm VR. Oh, I forgot that was happening. That game was crazy. Yeah, and they're making a VR variant for uh, for Bulletstorm for those that have played Bulletstorm. I love Bulletstorm. I love Bulletstorm that was game. one of the first few games on Xbox 360 when I was an avid achievement hunter that I would go out of my way to perfect. Like I played that game over and over and over again, trying to get every single fucking achievement. That just sounds and like now fun. That 
VR and now they're creating Bloodstorm. a VR variant. That's such a and... fast-paced game. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I love fast-paced shit. It might give me a headache in an hour, but I love playing fast-paced video games because it's just go, 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 Fuck go. It. I got my cord it. hanging from the ceiling. I can go 360. Let me at it, please. Let me kick him for real. I have full body. I can kick them. <laughs> so let's go find the beer. You can slide <laughs> up the stairs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to, Bull- to Bulletstorm VR. For the- if you guys haven't played Bulletstorm, you can probably find it at your local GameStop for, like, a dollar. Or yep. buy it off of uh, Steam for two dollars. It's worth the buy. It is a fun it's, game. It's just it's it a is. game. It's the three four hour run through. You know. Yeah, it's just I a generally fun. fun game. It's what it is. A game. Oh, Single this. player co op. However you want to play it, there's a style for you, and it's just so much. It, it's it's the the same voice actor who played fucking Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. Yeah. In a very yeah. similar playing game. It's similar a third character. Person. Similar character, <laughs> similar gameplay style. I mean, come on. Minus the whole it's went the to grindhouse first. version of Gears of War. It really yeah, is. Yeah, it Gears is. of War has you a third person over the shoulder, you know, slow with the behind the wall shit. Oh, this one got you going, woo! Like you're fucking crackhead <laughs> in first person shooter sliding upstairs somehow. They oh, that's some awesome. They solid redneck yeehaw into this fucking game. And alcohol. Yeah. Alcohol. That was oh, great, yeah. too. God, do we love that. Oh, yeah. Now, a lot it's, of uh, pent-up aggression. But that's the game that I'm looking forward to. It's just a time killer. It's just so much fun. And plus, if it's VR, I would love to play it in VR. Hell, I still want to try Golf It VR, because I, I I found out you can play Golf It in VR. They need that's to make it. a Dead Space VR, is what they need to oh, do. Oh, the developers. Please. Oh, dude. What was that one we played? The, the hotel. You know what I'm talking about? Propagation? Yes, that yes. one's... F- I don't think Mando would like that one. It's fucking terrifying. We got like, I got like two uploads of it on the channel. I wasn't able to defin- <laughs> to put up the third one to finish it because that file corrupted and, well, that would just require yeah. me to play through it again, which I couldn't be bothered right now. I don't have the time. I don't know. No, don't show him. We'll just stick him in. Let him go in raw. Figure <laughs> it out. Oh, yeah. Seriously. Propagation... Oh, oh, Hotel Paradise, amazing! It was fun. It was then, scary. And then we you to know what? I think game. I've maybe seen gameplay of that video, of that game already from a different person, but right, yeah, I'll do it anyways. Well, I thought it was I'll only single player. Though. No, it is single player. Okay, because I was about to say if it's a, if it's co op or like or multiplayer, let's run it. But then also, uh. We need to see if we can record and uh, successfully record after the fall again because I still have after the fall down uh, downloaded. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's me too. It's... Here we are talking about business proposals and what we should be doing in outro. Speaking of outro, you know what time it is, fellas? It is outro time. We have made it to the end of another episode of the podcast. Once again, audience, thank you for hanging out with us. I am so sorry that it has been so long since we've been here by the fire. And we're going to try to be more consistent. It's mainly my fault. I had shit to do. I apologize. But we made it to the end of this episode. I would like to know, leave me a comment down below. Again, how was your Thanksgiving? How was your uh, How was your Halloween? What are your Christmas plans? What do you do for Christmas? What are your tra- uh, traditions? We spoke about it once on a Tavern Talk way back when. If you want to do another video on it, we can. Uh, let us know. But... Closing statements, arguments, com- questions, comments, concerns from the fellas, starting with you, Mando. Shit. Um, be good. It's that time of the year where you should be anyways. Shit. I don't know. And have fun L- with whatever you do. Night. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and Randy Orange back, so watch out, because you can get RKO'd out of nowhere these days. I heard he hears voices in his head. They counsel him. They talk to him. They understand. They talk to me. Moving down the bench, me and Green. Let me talk to you, everyone. It is the holidays. Damn it. (laughs) Yeah. 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 He got me. I lost it as soon as you did that. (laughs) Try it again. Uh, No, no. We're we're running it. One take. It's gone. Fine, fine, fine. I'll just pretend that didn't happen. I'm going to lean back. Uh, let me talk to you, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right. So it is the holiday season. Enjoy your colder weather. Please be safe. Don't do anything stupid or irresponsible. Ugh, holidays tend to bring that out of people. I'm glad we're back. It's been a blast. And uh, until next one, if we don't catch you in time, happy holiday. Mr. Blue Dude. Oh, man. Other than just the very hectic, like, what, month and a half, it has been a blast. I'm glad we're doing this again, and hopefully we can keep it at a somewhat steady schedule. And the holidays are still around, so it's still going to be pretty busy, but I'm just glad that we were able to do this because we had a lot of fun. We got a lot of catching up to do. That's all, really. Boop. And then final closing statements for me. Again, as these guys have said, if we can't get to uh, if we can't get the schedule in time from from me and us to you and yours, happy holidays, uh, happy happy festivities, whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope you have a good one. Um, please be safe. Love and respect each other. Love and respect your families. And then last but not least, fucking Christopher Judge destroyed Call of Duty. Take us out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>